Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something I'm like super excited about. I'm gonna be doing something I've been wanting to do all week. I like came up with this idea. I think it's really creative. It's gonna be doing my makeup with my old makeup. Yeah. Does that make sense? You know like those products that you get them and you use them a few times and I don't know like whatever happens like you get new products or something but those all all the other stuff just gets like pushed to the back burner. I'm using all of those back burner products today. So yeah, let's let's get started with these old to new. I don't know, we're gonna be using my old makeup. So first off, I'm gonna start by doing my brows. I'm starting the first new repurpose like the thing. My first like old product is this Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk? I don't know, like literally. I said the same word twice. Like I said it the same way both times. It's this brow pencil, literally. I used to use it all the time. And I'm just gonna start just by lining the bottom of my eyebrows. So like right where I brushed all the hair up, I'll be lining under there. This is like rough. Oh my gosh. It looks so like, it just feels so much different than, you know, dip brow just like glides on. And it definitely doesn't look good. Like it doesn't look good. Have my brows always been bad? Comment below. That's just gonna be the bottom. Like I'm gonna fill in the top after I do my foundation. And I'm gonna line the other brow off camera. So that's that's that. They're kind of on so far. <laughs> Looking really rough right now, but it's fine. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the bottoms of my brows. So I had gotten this Pro Pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills to like line my brows and look like line my lips and stuff with concealer. And like I thought it was a really good idea and I really liked it at first but like I think I was just excited and like wanted to like have something new. But like I don't love it. It's just really hard to blend is my only thing. But I'm gonna try this today. So this is like for beginners I guess this is actually really gonna be nice um, because you can just like literally you just line it and you're good. This is pretty easy. It's like really hard to mess that up. Like it's really precise, you know, anybody can do that. Then I just take my concealer brush and I like try to just like drag it down. Like maybe this is actually a really good product and I'm just like, my blending is not blending. It's just me just like, so that's one eyebrow kind of done. I literally, I can't, I look so ugly right now. So now that that's done, I'm going to put concealer on my eyes to start my eyeshadow, which I'm just going to use the same concealer that I've been using because I don't have any old concealer. So I'm going to just go in with this Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. Okay, so that's blended in. Now to decide my eyeshadow. This is not going to be good. Okay, so the two palettes that I have, I've got this Urban Decay. This is what it looks like. I don't know the name, to be completely honest. Oh, it's just Shadow Box. Very creative. These are all shimmer shades, but I'm gonna try it. And then I also have this Urban Decay. I'm trying to, like, cover the mirror, but it's literally so large. <laughs> I tried to cover it with my arm. I'm so dumb. Okay. <laughs> They're all, like, really shimmery. So it's gonna be a really glittery, beautiful, crazy look. Like, the two eyeliners that I have that I never use are purple and white. So this is going to be an extreme look. So I'm going to go in with this one right there. It's called Sin. It's like a really light, like champagne-y type of color. And I'm just going to put that on the outs, like outer sides of my, my eye. I would usually never, ever do a look of just like glitter colors, but I don't really have much of a choice right now because I don't have that many unused palettes. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with Bordello. That's this like pinky shade right there. I'm just gonna start like blending that in. like I'm just gonna you know try and layer these colors it's just like these aren't showing up that's why I like never use this because it's like you can't see what it looks like these two purples I'm gonna mix together a little bit you can see it on my brush I don't know if you can see it but it just like it's not like showing up in a good way but that's fine. oh now it is it's so weird doing like an all glitter like I I never use hardly gl glitter like words hello I never use like glittery shadows so this is kind of like a lot for me so then I'm taking this blue shade okay so I've done both eyes so far um, and then I'm gonna try and like cut the crease a little bit I just, I just don't think it'll be well defined I'm starting with the wrong eye oh my god it makes me so mad how dumb I am 
But yeah, so I just take my concealer, I put some on my hand, and I just like apply whatever like I want for the crease part. And then, you know, you just take your little concealer brush, drag it along to create the blank slate of where the new color was going to go. It's just like very hard because it's not very pigmented, but I can kind of see it in my mirror. And the next thing that I have is that Moon Dust palette. Um, so I'm going to take those, like, these darker shades, like the blue and the purple. Literally, look how awkward I am trying to cover this. Uh, and I'm going to take, it's called Vega and Magnetic. And I'm going to take those two colors. It's like purple and blue. I'm going to apply it in, like, that same area that I just defined the crease. Like, the thing that's really hard is these colors, like, the, the top isn't very pigmented. So it's hard to tell, like, where my crease ends. I don't think it's that bad. It's just gonna look like a full glitter lid. It's not even, this is a fail cut crease. That's what this video should be called. Failed cut crease. Failed cut crease. Idiot girl tries to do makeup and fails. This is the same type of liner that I use every day, but it's just purple. Um, it's the Too Faced Sketch Marker. More magical than a unicorn. You're right, girl. Oh, it's a lot darker than I thought. But you just, like, line your lashes like your lash line with a layer of the eyeliner pretty easy and then you go over to the side and you start a wing and then you connect the two it's crazy it actually doesn't look that bad okay I'm gonna do this side now okay so I got a little too confident in my last eye and now this eye is like crazy big but that's Okay, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna like try and define my crease a little bit more, but like with this white, and again, it's the same, it's Too Faced Sketch Marker. So I'm just gonna take like where that crease, where I had cut my crease, and just do like a little white line there. Just to make it like more interesting. It's not good. Oh, I made it worse. I definitely made it worse. Okay, so this is my attempt. It is literally so bad. Like, <laughs> everyone unfollow me right now. I need, like, to be banned from YouTube for real. I, like, tried to do something really cool, and it literally turned out so bad. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on going with this video. So, next up, it's FaceTime. I'm using, I hope this isn't, like, expired. I hope it doesn't like burn my skin. Um, this is from 2014. It's called Too Faced Hangover RX. It's like um, primer. RX. I think, I don't know what this is. Like Hangover Pharmacy. Is that how you're supposed to say it? Oh, it smells so strong. It's definitely gonna burn my face a little bit. You just like squirt it out of the little bottle. Okay, well, I'm out. <laughs> Seriously, this video is just such a disaster right now. I wish I never would have even tried to do white liner. Like, the white liner made it so much worse. Nothing I can do about now. But okay, I'm just gonna say my face is primed, whatever. Um, because I ran out. So, half my face is primed. And my old foundation that I'm using is the Born This Way from Too Faced. And this is the shade Vanilla. It's definitely gonna be too dark for me, but... This whole makeup look is a disaster already, so I'm just gonna, you know, continue. And I just blend that with my beauty blender. Try and blend it down my neck. But I don't think it's making it any more believable that this is my shade. Literally, just like, look how orange it is. Like, honey, no. I can't believe anyone was my friend when I was using this. Shout out to you guys, the real ones. And shout out to the people that are my friend now when this is my eyeshadow. Like... I'm, yeah, I'm logging off. I did a look like this, like, the other day, and it actually turned out, like, really good. So that's why I was like, oh, today I'm, like, gonna impress my viewers with, like, fancy eyeliner. Nope, that did not happen. Okay, so once it's on, I like the foundation. I just don't like it on <laughs> Like, the brows are so bad. The eyeshadow is so bad. My skin looks like, like, I am an Oompa Loompa. It's just, like, everything is horrible. I literally can't get over it. Like, it would have been so good if I would have just left it and I couldn't leave it. I powder my face. This isn't old powder because I didn't have any of that, so I'm just using the same um, CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. Okay, so now 
that the powder's on. Well, first I do my mascara. It's the same mascara that I always use. It's a Smashbox mascara. Okay, I tried to fix the liner, and I think it looks a little bit better. Just, like, minutely better, but, like, I will take anything I can get at this point. I'm going to finish off my brows with the pencil. I just stuttered, like, 12 times. Honestly, I'll take it. It's not that bad. Okay, these are by no means my greatest brows, but they are there, so... Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting, because we've got a couple things to try out here. So I've got this contour stick from Wet n Wild that I got to try. Never use it. I will use it seriously like one time. We're gonna try that. So I'll start over here. Oh god no. <laughs> I'm gonna do just a little bit under my chin. Now here comes the interesting part where I don't know what brush to use. <laughs> like do you use? <laughs> I don't think that's the right brush. I'm gonna try and use my beauty blender. Um, okay, hello draw. <laughs> yes. I literally have no clue how you're supposed to use this. Like, is this what you do? Am I applying this right? Does that one help? I'm guessing this is right, but it's just like really orange. It's not looking good. Okay, it, it's done. Right, well, I'm gonna try another thing. I'm gonna try this other bronzer that I stopped using. Can figure out how to cover the mirror. And it's got the, it's called Pro Sculpting Duo. I'm just gonna try and add and see if this makes it like any better. Some would argue that it's actually worsening this look. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Then I'm gonna add some blush, you know. This is the same blush I always use because I don't have any other blush. I'm nervous yet excited because I'm going to be using two highlighters. I've got this, um, What's Up? What? It's like what? What's Up? I don't know why I was saying it so weird. But yeah, there's this, um, highlighter from Benefit that I got as, like, a birthday present. Actually from Alicia. And it's this highlighter stick. It, I like it a lot. I don't know why I stopped using it. But I'm going to first go on with that. I might remember why I stopped using this now. It's actually got like a little sponge on it. So I'm going to use that. But this is like not really working. I feel like this is just messing up the makeup underneath. Like I don't know if this is actually blending or if it's just like making it worse. <laughs> well, it's on. So. Okay. My beautiful face is done. Okay, so now for the lipstick. We're gonna stick with like the purple theme. I have these two Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. I've got this like pretty mauve purpley shade that I just never wear because it's purple. I'm gonna wear it today. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna just leave it matte because like my eyes are already so glittery and also this highlight though like, matte is good it actually like perfectly matches my like eyeliner right there so I kind of love that but like I kind of want to try putting the Fenty lip gloss that I recently got over it to just like see what color it has so let me try that okay so you girls finally back with the right shade and we're gonna try it there's a dog Do you see yourself in the mirror? Do you see me? How do I look? Rate me. She looked away. Here's dog two. <laughs> no, don't give me kisses. Well, now you finally see my dogs. This lip gloss is insane right now. It literally looks like amazing. I seriously feel so like these lips are giving me life. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty, I think. Like, I seriously feel like a little alien princess right now. A very tan alien princess with bad eyebrows. This is gonna be the finished look. Like, this is it, y'all. This is it. We got the eyes, we got the eyebrows, we got the face, we got the lips. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. If you don't then don't because I feel really awkward like asking you guys to do that but like I kind of want you to so do that
do it that way you will. But yeah, okay, thanks again, guys. Love you all.